Hello and welcome once again to Swag and Sorcery. So in the last episode we were trying to build up enough of the new wood pipes from these three places here so that we could upgrade our guild hall. Now between episodes I have gone out and literally farmed some. Um, so we have nine there that we can make. Is nine enough? Yeah, uh, yes, nine it is enough. Um, now to do this, I've just been going here and if there's an enemy, I retreat. If there wasn't an enemy, I'd harvest what I could and then retreat. Uh, because I am nowhere near strong enough to actually fight any of them. Uh, which is a shame. It does mean that I'm going to need to build everyone's levels up a bit. Or give them much better equipment. One or the other. Probably going to build their levels. Um, wow, 36 fabrics. Okay, make those. There we go. Nine maple planks. Build that one. Look, we have two new horses being airdropped in, most likely. Yep, yeah, there they are. That looks like a zebra. Did, did you give us a zebra? And three characters make a strong party, but be sure that they're all in a good mood and that they're properly equipped, stocked up on potion, buffed, and of course, that you're ready to help them with magic. Anyway, you're a real commander now. Lovely. Oh my dear god, that's a lot of new quests suddenly. Like, seriously? Okay. He who, he who must not be named. Really? Okay. His Majesty commands the heroes to go forth at once to the swamp, the hot springs, and the underground city. There's a chest hidden somewhere that contains His Majesty's great great grandfather's suit. The chest must be recovered and returned to the king. Yes, indeed. So we've got to kill the nameless. Um. Which is most likely that monster. Uh, special order. The King's Guard came to our village. For some reason, they decided that I can forge a moon blast. Uh, that I forge. That I can forge moon blouses. My god, tongue tied. And if I don't forge any, they will take my head off. Help! Yes, okay, I'll probably get to that. The second round has to do with exotic hunting techniques. Have you heard about guard sports? No? Bring five of these special weapons. Try to find them. Um, oh, support, sorry. And was that... No, it's gourd support. Okay. Um, imagine, while the visitors from a distant village were resting in the spa, someone stole their family heirloom. The beetle... Beetle Assistant Amulet. Uh, they're terribly upset and they decided to drown themselves in the lake. Help! <laughs> oh dear God. Um, so we've got to make a legendary amulet. Jesus. But I can't make that. Do I have to upgrade this to be able to make that? So you need maple planks, titanium ingots and gold. Ouch. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can get new recipes just from, you know, going through the levels, but I don't think I'm strong enough to go through the levels right now without dying, so... Hmm. Do some ancient plates. Or some rotten slices. Well, I've got the materials to make the rotten slices. Yeah, craft as many of them as you can, please. And you. What armor do we have currently? Make some of those for me, please. And make some of those for me, please.
go. Sailor boots, sailor top, and sailor cap. Righto. And yeah, I suppose craft a few of those for me. I'm just crafting whatever I can at the moment so I can make some money and obviously then train my people up. Not only that, some of the things I make might actually be good enough to wear. I doubt it, but you know, maybe. We need four of them. Because I remember I was working on an elegant breastplate, I believe. Ooh, with four of them, I could actually craft one. Because I think I was working on... Oh, I'd already got an elegant breastplate. 19 stamina. Do I have something better with stamina? doubt it. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, craft that. I mean, at best it should get to 20, but then the secondary thing might end up being a stamina bonus, so you never know. Alright, let's actually sell all this stuff then. So three bandit jackets, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually want to sell what I just sold. Damn you. Oh well. Right. 14 in stamina. Plus 6 in stamina. <laughs> so it is better stamina. Um, Got to be level 11 to wear it though. Okay. You finally finished with the rotten slices. So you need to go up one level please. So that I can equip that on you. And we can sell that. Decent-ish amount actually made from that. Now with all those rotten slices, yeah I can make all the field mage stuff. Um, just the standard field mage shirt I think is best. <coughs> and while you're doing that, how about you guys? All go on an adventure together and see how well we fare. Now that we have three people instead of two, it will substantially increase my damage output. Doesn't help my defense in any way, of course. Oh my god! That's such a nasty attack. Damn you! Hey, at least I killed it. I've got a healing spell ready if I need it. Three of them in a row though. I think I want to leave with the ore if I have to run. Keep healing. Oh God, keep healing. But we actually made it through. We completed the place. I can't remember if that's the first time I've completed it, but Jesus. Uh, right, you keep making more of those, please. Uh, relax. Wow. 
Wow, some of those are pretty darn good. And we're selling them all. Look how much money we've made. Uh, if you could please... Oh, we've not upgraded this place yet. I need maple planks. Damn it. We have a grand total of one maple plank. Mm. You're on the front line taking the most damage, so yeah, you know what? We'll train you up, then we'll go individual stat. Mm. I'm actually going to train your stamina a little bit, and then pump the rest of the gold into attack. Raising stamina, of course, raises HP, and to be honest, raising strength raises HP as well, but... Okay, so you're now a level 17. That's not terrible. Can you make anything else? You can make a pair of boots. That's about it. Still got potions. You need a few more. So do you. Health, physical resistance. So for you, they're not very good. For you, they're not brilliant. For you, they are very good, actually. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? You can you can trade those for them then. And then I doubt these are better for anyone. No. So they can be something. Well. Well. You, know well. you two can accompany Eddie. You have a little bit more firepower. And of course you're going to stand there and just get hurt. I hate that you have to stand there for the full duration of their attack. It's like once it's over, can't we just go, yay, we won, and run. So we're definitely going to run away with the logs if we need to run. Now, use a healing potion. Okay. Your intelligence in my eyes has gone up. Ooh. A competition crossbow. I, I still want the logs if we have to run them. That gives me incentive not to run. Evading. Just die. Perfect. Heal and do it again. And let's take a look. So that was a competition crossbow. Okay. Self sacrifice. When the uh, wearer takes damage, heal 24 to 40. That's pretty nice, actually. Might want to try and get that. Ow. These guys give a decent-ish sum of money when you kill them. Really? How many times do you have to miss in a row?
you do like a rolling attack that you've done before, you might kill um, Rosalind in one shot. Ooh, then again, we might not give you the chance. That's how you're meant to do it. He'll relax. Uh, if you could turn what we've got into planks, please. And if you could just make some minor pots for me. Shame we can't upgrade that yet. I was going to say, how have we not raised Aiden's intelligence? But no, we have. That's just the game being silly. Well. Right. While you're working on that, you guys continue to fight. Now, I could send them all to... Uh, I can't show it, but the level before this. Uh, where we've been going quite a lot, just to gather lots of materials. I might do that a little between episodes, just send them on, you know, a hundred humps or something at the same place. Just to build up a ridiculous stockpile of materials that I can then make loads of equipment and sell for lots of money. Because I'm feeling that I just need to really raise everyone's level, and that might be the way to do it. Then we could probably afford new characters as well. That might be fun. Although new characters does mean lots of new armor that I need to make for everyone. Oh dear god, that'll take a while. But it'd probably be better than sitting there and making you guys watch, you know, all of this rather than the more fun stuff. I think it would just get a little monotonous sending them on the same hunt constantly. Like, you can just go to the first level on your own. You're big enough and tough enough to just beat your way through there, so... And that'll get me some of the base resources from the first level. I can't wait to have, like, three sets of three adventure... Hang on. I can never have three sets of three adventures. There's not enough adventures. Hmm. So why would it give us access to nine horses if we could never use nine horses? Oh dear. Oh, at least Eddie's special skill killed that thing off. That's fine then, at least. Yeah, I don't understand why it would give us access to nine... Um, horses if we could never actually have nine heroes. We probably can somehow. Maybe this sort of gets longer when you hire enough people. I don't know. I really hope it does. Same as there's definitely better setups for battle than crafting. You know, having teams that self heal and things like that would be much better than having, you know, people decked out in just equipment that is good for crafting. So maybe if we do get enough people that we can have dedicated crafters and dedicated explorers. Might be a good idea. Again, if it allows us, of course. Uh, right, I'm fed up going through the same place, so you know what? You can go through that one. Does this one have wood? If it doesn't, I might have to switch back to one of the other two. Because wood is sort of one of the things we need the most, because it's what we need to upgrade, you know, the smithery, for example. Until that's upgraded, yeah, we're collecting loads of titanium. Can't use it, though. Uh, 
uh, do you need a healing potion or give you an extra one? I could equip everyone with better healing potions, but I don't think they need them. Eddie's the only one that takes the massive brunt of damage being on the front line. Ooh, bubbles and ancient parchments and secret reagents. So much stuff. So you drop the ancient parchment. Okay. Oh. Helmet of Suffering. But yeah, no wood, so maybe go for that. So a Helmet of Suffering. Okay, that looks interesting, but probably not something we'll use that much. It doesn't raise stats, and I need things to raise stats to be very useful for me at the moment. keep going. So what do I need to upgrade this place? Oak planks. Can I make oak? I can't make oak planks yet. Really? So I'm not even at the place where I can upgrade this? Damn. Well, okay then. Oh, you died. That's worrisome. Especially with two fights left. Wow. Ooh, Eddie. No, oh god, no. No, no. That's just, no. Out of there. If Eddie had died instead of um, Kazuki, then Eddie would have killed the preacher. But considering Kazuki had died, if Eddie died, that was it. Part, party right. Um, and I'm not happy with that. But at least we are collecting a few materials. How much? Ten of. Okay, so that means we can make five blanks. A little more and then we can upgrade the smithery. In fact, this should do it. This should definitely give us enough. Yeah, you know what? Uh, no. We got the planks or the, the wood, which is what I really need. So... Yeah, you craft those, please. You make some of the new fabric. And you make that on the full. Anything I want you to make? Yeah, you know what, you can make two of the new healing potions. I don't think we need to make any of the old ones, no, we've got quite a few of them left. Oh wow, they're different. They're even bigger ones. 250 points of health. And the cotton. So. I don't think I can use that cotton on anything yet. Oh no, maybe I was wrong. Okay. So I use that for the novice stuff. Can't do any of it because we need ancient plates for every single piece, but yeah. Make some adept shirts, please. And you've done that, so we can upgrade this building. Haha! -ha! One upgraded smithery. Ooh, cursed ingots. So what's new armor-wise? Oh, moon blouses. Okay. So we need at least one of those. 
Moon shoes raise stamina. Hmm. I definitely want some moon shoes then for Roslyn. So for that we need stomach jelly and titanium. Well, the stomach jelly we get from this place. From these two, I think. Yeah. So we will have to continue to go here until we get some of that. But I think that is where we're going to wrap up. So as I say, between episodes, I will probably send my party out to these three places, build up quite a few of these resources, so that, you know, in the next episode I can craft a load of stuff and, you know, make some money and level everyone up. But thank you very much for joining me, hopefully you have enjoyed, if you have, please like, comment and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.